SCP-053 sat in the middle of a spacious cell, playing with her toys all by her lonesome. The mannequin, SCP-847, eyed the little girl with contempt and jealousy. It walked to the nearest D-Class and whispered into his ears. Kill her. The D-Class shuddered, then nodded. Yes, my queen. She shambled towards the unsuspecting girl, who was pouring a cup of tea to serve her doll companions. Then, he dropped to the floor and died after a short bout of agonizing spasms. Useless men. Suddenly, the ground began to quake. A monstrous roar echoed faintly outside the cell. 053 stopped playing then. She looked up, as if sensing a familiar presence. Lizzie! The girl's face lit up with excitement. A spark of joy danced in her eyes. The mannequin, however, felt the opposite. What is this ominous feeling? As its gaze shifted back to the girl, her disdain for the little girl returned. A crooked smile insidiously etched on its face. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you a tale from the SCP Foundation. Behind an array of monitors stood two figures, watching as everything unfolded in the test cell. All right, what's on the menu today? Let's see, it's SCP-8474 today. The mannequin? What is the Foundation thinking? They want to test if 053's effect extends to non-living beings. Them and their weird ideas. Let's get this over with. The pair was stationed far away from 053's influence, a luxury not afforded to the D-Class subjects. Alright, commencing. Send in SCP-847 and the D-Class. Two D-Class subjects, one male and female, carefully wheeled in a locked steel box. The researchers order screech from the PA. Now, open it up, carefully. Shakily, a D-Class opened the box. His face transformed from fear into adoration upon seeing the content within SCP-847, the mannequin. Slowly, the mannequin opened its eyes. Its limbs jerked erratically as it came alive. The researchers noticed the sudden shift in the male D-Class's demeanor towards the mannequin as it stepped out of the box. Ugh, men. So what makes this doll different than the normal ones? Well, for starters, it moves. The mannequin walked towards the male D-Class. Second, it appears to like men. His face reddened as the mannequin touched his cheek. An artificial yet affectionate smile tore from cheek to cheek on the mannequin's face. Like a lot. The D-Class reached for its waist as the mannequin assumed a provocative pose. And I'm guessing she, it, feels opposite towards females. Then, the mannequin halted its movement. Its head jerked to gaze at a female D-Class standing near the box. Yup. The mannequin juddered towards the female D-Class. It brought its face close to hers, scrutinizing the fearful subject before it. Then suddenly, very strongly so, the mannequin let out a deafening screech, then proceeded to tear at the female D-Class's face. The mannequin's left arm shattered, forming a jagged edge as a result of its violent attacks. The researchers winced as they watched it unfolded. Yikes! There goes her pretty face. And it'll take off her arm too. Look. The mannequin then forcefully yanked out an arm from its victim. Black resin oozed from its eyes, mouths, and its shattered arm. Damn thing knows how to fix itself using the black resin like some sort of glue, too. It's pretty handy. <laughs> After the mannequin fixed its arm, it turned its attention back towards the cowering male D-Class. A wicked smile on its face as it showed off its new arm. I can be whatever you want. Then it stopped again, having sensed yet another presence. Surely enough, it spotted 053 playing with her dolls, unbothered. 
The mannequin grimaced at the sight of yet another female presence, prompting it to stomp purposefully toward 053 as if she were an obstacle to be eliminated. <laughs> what the researchers couldn't see was the terrifying vision before the mannequin. The girl now bore a sinister smile, taunting it, beckoning it to harm her. The mannequin then heard her own voice whispered by its ear. There can only be one of you. <laughs> Standing insidiously behind the innocent girl, the mannequin's inner voice grew even more manic. What are you waiting for? Do it. Just as it raised its arm, it managed to snap itself out of the spell. The demonic visage of the girl disappeared, and the innocent girl returned. Now, what will you do next? A question the mannequin was wrestling with itself. It stepped coquettishly towards the cowering D-Class, and then whispered in his ears. Kill her. Yes, my queen. The D-Class dropped dead before he could do its bidding, an act seen as betrayal and abandonment by the mannequin. Then, the mannequin's envy turned into fear as the ground shook, a faint roar in the distance. Crap, is that? I thought you said it was locked up and sedated. We gotta speed things up now. He then pushed a button and more D-Class subjects enter the test cell. Instantly, they were all charmed by the mannequin's seduction and became its pawns. Under its order, they rushed to harm 053. Some died of heart attack, some became enraged and turned on the mannequin. How bothersome. Like knights in shining armor, the D-Class subjects rushed forward and defended the mannequin against those driven to rage by 053's anomaly. As the researchers watched the nail-biting action unfold, the tremor returned and was getting closer. SCP-682 burst through the walls and devoured the researchers. As if connected by telepathy, 682 smashed through walls and found its way to 053. Lizzie! The surviving D-Class screamed and scrambled around, which irked the immortal reptile greatly. It roared and devoured every D-Class before it. It was over within minutes. Then, 682 noticed the mannequin. Despite the mannequin's apparent elegance and calmness, the reality beneath its exterior was far from serene. Its black resin dripped down its face like sweat drops. Something about this doll that I can't just seem to put my claws on. One of her new toys. The lizard slowly widened its jaw, and the mannequin could do nothing but to accept its fate. Lizzie, do you want to go out and play? The lizard stopped and turned away from the mannequin. 682 stomped away along with the little girl, leaving the mannequin alone in the destroyed cell. The mannequin's relief turned to melancholy as its resin began to stream down like tears. What's wrong with me? Please, don't leave me. Sorry I'm worthless. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Have a favorite SCP you want to see on this channel? Leave us your suggestions in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more SCP content, then check out some of our other videos right here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.